Yeah, I I didn't think much about Rafa match uh, because I really tried to 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 leave it behind. Uh, so I don't think it had any issues. Otherwise, there would be many many matches during the seasons where I would lose. And today again, I didn't didn't feel like. Uh, Suddenly, when I was two sets to love up, I stopped playing and kind of, you know, let's say went behind the baseline, started doing like lobs. I didn't really do bad mistakes. I think what happened is he started to play better, a little bit different tactically because I proposed him something different in the beginning of the match, which was very aggressive. I got a little tired physically, but like every other match before, just every other match before, my opponents didn't manage to take advantage of it or them also, they made, uh, they became tired. And Yannick uh, didn't really, because in the fifth set, I was like, I was like every other match, I was trying to, to be proud of myself, and I am. I was fighting, I was running, and I was like, you know, I will try to, uh, if tomorrow I don't feel my legs, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try everything I can today till the last point, and I did it. And there were some points in the end where he was not, I mean, adrenaline going, but he didn't seem as tired as my opponents before. So... He started playing better. I got a little bit tired. Serve went a little bit worse. So the momentum changed, and I really tried in my mind to change it back again because that's what tennis is about. But I didn't manage to do it, and that's why he's a winner and he has a trophy. John, you've got my deepest respect for how you've played four or five set matches. Thanks. Can you tell us how that? takes a toll on your body and also are you ready to run a marathon tomorrow uh, no 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 tomorrow tomorrow i'm not ready to do anything i'm taking a flight but i the thing is that i at least when i take flights i i don't like it like for my body i feel that i don't know what is it the pressure in the coming in the position you sit in or whatever my body doesn't like it and tomorrow the way i'm feeling right now i think i'm going to be after after the flight i'm going to be dead for for a week but uh, five setters are tough for the body. I had, uh, I'm actually, it's crazy. I would say the worst I felt was after Hurkash match the day after and after Zverev's match the day after. So yesterday when I was on practice, I was like, damn, how I'm going to play the final, how I'm going to move. But we really worked hard with uh, my, my, my physio, especially. He made a tremendous job to, to every time when I stepped on court, I was ready again. And then during the match, Every time it was the same story. After two sets, I was my energy level dropped, uh, was dropping because I didn't have a perfect sleep. I was playing long before, so that's let's call it my fault because I needed to win easier matches. But sometimes it's tough, so it's not easy for the body. But uh, at least I feel like I have no injuries in the stern and some blisters, which is unfortunate, which is rare for me. But whatever, it's gonna go away. And I'm ready for next step uh, this season. Still, strong start. Can I get you to talk about Yannick? And you, at the ATP Tour Finals, you mentioned if he keeps playing like this, he's going to be number one in the world. He's going to win a lot of slams. He's obviously now got that slam. Does he feel like the best player in the world right now, or do you still feel like that's an over? I think that's why we have rankings in tennis, because... This tournament, he was the best player in the world, and that's why he won the slam. But uh, we never know what happens next. Right now, he's number one in the race. He continues playing like this, continues winning tournaments like this. He's going to be number one in the world at one moment. But we never know what can happen. Many, many things can happen in a tennis career. So that's why I think tennis is a beautiful sport, because you cannot look in the future. You don't know. Uh, again, if he stays healthy and plays like he played this tournament, one moment he's going to be number one. Two months, in one year, in two years, one moment. But, uh, you know, it, uh, many players went through different uh, uh, moments in their, uh, in their seasons and careers. So let's see how Yannick uh, handles uh, everything that is uh, going to, to happen. I myself uh, put myself in a good position. I guess I would be uh, number two in the race. I'll try my best to, to be somewhere there close by also. Thank you, everyone. That concludes English questions. We'll start with some Russian. Thank you, guys.